You're talking politics. The Labour Party has unveiled its presidential campaign council comprising of 1,234 members. At the unveiling ceremony in Abuja, Director General of the campaign team, Dunyo Kukwe, says no presidential candidate can shore up, the, uh, shore up to the performance of Peter Obi. Habida Lawa reports on this. The 2023 presidential election is less than five months away and the momentum is growing. The election is coming at a time when the entire country is intensely charged and the Labour Party believe its candidate has what it takes to turn things around. Here at the unveiling of the campaign team, both the presidential candidate and his running mate are not present. The Director General of the Campaign Council, Donyo Kukwe, expressed confidence that Mr. Peter Obi has 15 million secured votes ahead of the elections. Let me assure Nigerians that as we commence the campaign for the 2022 elections in Addis, our party and our candidates will remain committed to the honest, clean, and issue-based engagements with the Nigerian people. Who whose mandate we say in order to turn around the fortunes of this, of this great country. National Secretary of the Labour Party, Clement Ojuku, announced a 1,234-member presidential campaign that will mobilize electorates for a successful presidential campaign. The presidential campaign team will be led by AIG retired Muhammad Zaliwa. I want to present to you the chairman of the campaign council, in the person of Amaji, AIG Mohamed Zarewa as the chairman of the campaign council. Also, my humble self, Clement Kojuku, as the secretary general of the campaign council. Barrister Julius Abure, the chairman of the Labour Party, is the chairman of the advisory council. Dr. Doi Okuwe here present is the Director General of the Parkour Council. They urge the Independent National Electoral Commission to ensure it leaves above board and clear the air about an alleged agent deployed to truncate the bimodal voter accreditation system to some section of the country. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.